gone high tech. Tau Wellness showed us the Well Shell, and this is a palm-sized device that not only monitors your biometrics, but also lets you work out on the go. I got a chance to talk to Tau Wellness President Philo Northrup, and I got my workout on. It's turning downtime into exercise time. This is a portable exercise device. You can take it anywhere and get actual exercise for busy people who want to get healthy. I uh, was just on a plane flight. I was actually able to do a real workout on the plane. Okay. So for, for this one, okay. you want to put the heels of your hands against the center. Okay. Those are pressure sensors in the yeah. middle. You see that? Uh -huh. Now go ahead and press hard. Keep the skier, keep the skier on that path. Oh my gosh, so it's shaking. I need to work out more. It's more than just isometrics. It's variobics is what we call it. And it's game now, last year we checked out earbuds, which are these sweet earbuds that don't fall out when you're doing lots of crazy stuff. But this year we found one step better. We found run phones, which are a really soft, wearable headband that not only can play your music wirelessly because the device is right there in the headband, but it can also act as your own personal trainer. Like, run, Trisha, run, I'm sorry, I'm trying run phones, I really am. I don't run, it hurts my boobs. So I'm here sporting some run phones. Now I know it looks like a sweet sweatband, and it does that too, but it's also playing music, and it's my own personal workout coach in my head. It's got no wires, there's uh, no iPod for me to be shuffling with. <laughs> I get it, I said iPod and shuffle. But no, seriously, it's all contained in this one pretty comfortable sweatband, I have to say. And you can even take all the tech that's in this out so that you can wash it so it doesn't get gross pretty awesome. Now there are a ton of devices that are able to measure your biometric data while you're working out, but this little guy from Zep Labs specifically can measure your golf, baseball, or tennis swings at such a level that it shows you 3D visuals and speed stats and all sorts of other stuff. I got a chance to talk with Zep CEO Jason Fast. This is the world's first multi-sport sensor. And what does that mean? So inside this tiny little square okay. are multiple accelerometers, a gyro, a uh, big processor, awesome. Bluetooth, lots of storage. Captures mm -hmm. a thousand data points a second for all your sports. Awesome. And we've launched the first three sports on our new platform just last month. For years, people mm -hmm. have been using video, and video is an amazingly helpful mm -hmm. tool. But we like to say video is a 2D solution to a 3D problem. Okay. So we built this product to capture three dimensional data, build these models on your iPhone and iPad within a second of you swinging, and you can move and navigate around them almost like a video game of your own swing. Okay, awesome. Do you think I, I could try? You should. Let's do this. Eye on the ball, it's very important. I hit it really hard. So here you can see uh, my crazy swing, and you can turn it around. So uh, like we were talking about earlier, this is a 3D way to examine your golf swing, or your baseball swing, or your tennis swing, whichever application you're using. If you are really trying to improve your swing, this is definitely going to be a helpful tool. So get it and get better at your sports. Now, when you're working out or playing sports, safety is absolutely key, and Reebok has come up with a really cool way to protect your noggin. I got a chance to talk with Paul Litchfield, VP of Reebok's Advanced Concept Groups, and here's what it looked like. This is uh, the Reebok check light. Okay. And what this is, this is a head impact indicator for any sport or activity. And what it does is it, it will inform the user about the type of hit that may have just occurred, and it will get you onto a pathway of assessment so you get checked out so you don't get injured. So the uh, the beauty of this is that what we did was we attached the device mm -hmm. to the person okay. via a skull cap or a headband and awesome. it sits right behind your ear and right